Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another Python 3 tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to uh, go more in depth into classes. Um, and actually in the next couple of tutorials, I'm going to be doing that as well because classes are a very, very important part of Python and really any object-oriented language. And uh, you really are going to be using classes for um, many, if not all, of the programs that you write in, a, in an object-oriented language. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to open up a new window, and I'm going to name this uh, class person, uh, if I could spell it. And so first, I'm going to go ahead and create an, uh, the constructor method. So I'm going to guess, uh, pass self, because I have to, and then name and age. So I'm going to store the name in the... Uh, name and age, sorry, in the uh, appropriate name and age that's stored, uh, that's connected to the object itself. And then when they're created, I'm going to print their name has been born. Exclamation point, because we're happy for them. We're happy that they're born. And then we're going to do self.name. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run this. I'm going to create actually a person, actually two people just right here in this program, which is actually what you're going to be doing a lot of the time. Um, you're, never actually, uh, you're never actually going to be running a real program in Python shell. Uh, so I'm going to create one person, and his name will be Johnny. And he will be 20 years old. Sounds good. And then another person, and, you know, let's, let's throw in the equal sign there as well. Uh, let's let's make it a her. Let me name Mary. And how old do you think she should be? Probably about 26 is good. No, 27. All right, that's better. So let me save this, and I'm gonna name it Person because that's the name of my class. Most times you name uh, the program the name of your class, and it, I already have it. So, but I'm gonna replace it, and then F5 to run it, or you can go run run module. And there you go. Uh, we have our two people objects, person objects. And uh, it outputted this little thing that I had it output in the constructor method. So I'm going to next show you guys uh, another special method of classes. And I'll show you what it does. Um, first, let's see what happens when we just print the object, just the object, not the uh, like p1.name or anything like that. What it does is it shows you that it's a, all right, it's a person object. And this is the memory location where it's found. Um, and it's random every time. Like if I were to run this program again, this number would be different because it's just stored at a random memory location. And each time you exit out, it gets destroyed. And then when you run it again, it'll create a new memory uh, location for your object. So what if you wanted to just have a really quick way of printing out something for your object. So let's, let's say you had some class that stored some sort of data for each object. And then you just wanted to be able to output the data real quick, but you didn't want to have to, you know, have a bunch of print methods and, you know, access all the data every single time you wanted to print it. Well, there's actually a really easy way to do that. It's another special method, and the way it's uh, created is you do the def, and then like the initialization or the constructor method, it's two underscores, and this one is str for string actually, and then two more underscores, and we have to pass the self through again, of course, and what this does is, oops, it's not print. It basically, um, whenever you call the print function on your object, um, if you have this in your class, it will call this and then output whatever you put in here. Um, and so you're re it'll output whatever you return. So you have to have that return statement there. So what we're going to have it output is we're going to have it output the name and then is and then the age uh, years old. And then let's format that self.name and self.age. And so now if we go print p1, oops, not o1, and then print p2, then watch what happens. Let's save it, run it, and there you go. You see when we created them, it outputted these, and then when we called the print method, no longer when I do print p1, why do I, okay, there we go. It doesn't say this up here anymore. It prints whatever you returned, whatever string you returned uh, from up here. 
So that's another special method in Python. Now I'm actually going to show you another one. And this one, again, all the special methods are two underscores, some words, and two more underscores. And in the middle of the underscore, uh, whatever you write, that's what, deci what uh, decides the you know, special method, of course. And so this one is the delete special method. And it's DEL. So two underscores, DEL, two more underscores. And got to pass that self through again. And what this one does is it executes whatever you put in here um, when you delete your object. So this one is going to print their name and then is dying because we're sad that they're dying. And self.name. And you know what? We're sad that they're dying. We're going to throw in a smiley face. Or not a smiley face. Unless we're happy they're dying, but I'm not. I'm sad. So the way to delete um, uh, objects, you just do del and then the object name. So I keep doing that. Oh, I don't know why. All right, now I'll save it. You can run module or F5. So there you go. Created them, called that print method on them, and then deleted them. And now you can see if I try to print P1, oops, it's not there anymore. It got deleted. So that pretty good, uh, pretty good methods to use there. Um, this one's especially important when you have lots of data, or, or you know, just something like this where you just want to be able to um, output something every time you want to print the uh, the object. Oh, but one thing I will add. Um, let's say let's have a new object. We're gonna name this. We're gonna have this one. Let's just have it. Uh, his name will be Bill, and he'll be like five years old. So. You can't concat concatenate uh, the object and then like a string. It won't work. It'll give you an error. Um, and that's because this is a person and this is a string and it doesn't know how to concatenate the two. Um, so you can't do that. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys what's known as class variables. Basically what a class variable is, is it's a variable that's stored in the class itself. And it's not tied down to any object. It's not unique to any object. And any object can access it, but it'll always be the same value for every object. So in this case, I'm going to have a class variable, and it's going to be population. And I'm going to set it equal to 0. And you basically just declare class variables um, outside of the um, methods of the class. And um, it'll generally just go at the top. It's just good uh, syntax for you to do that, I guess. Um, just generally, it's a, the best place to put it at the top because you can see all of your class variables first. And because it's a class variable, you can just access it um, from anywhere. But the way that you access it, you, don't, you can't just put population right here. If I do this, um, that'll give me an error. What you have to do is person.population plus or equal to one. So when I create them, I want to increase the population because I just got one more person in my world. So you know, got to increase the population. And then when I delete them, sadly, the population must decrease. So I created a person here. And now I'm going to print person.population. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this right here. Copy it there and there. So now let's save it, run it, and we can see it work. So there you go. Johnny was born, the population was one. Mary was born, I did not mean to do that, but the population was two. And then John died, population moved down to one. Mary died, population moved down to zero. Um, so this can, um, as you can see here, it can keep track of how many objects in the class you have. Um, but it can also do a whole bunch of other things, and it's actually can get pretty important in some programs. Um, so just make sure that you know how to use this. Um, and just again, you, you refer to it as person.population, not self.population, because if it was self.population, then it would be a class variable, or not a class variable, it would be an object variable. And it would be unique to the object that you were using to access that method. But as it is, it's a, uh, it's a class variable. And so it's accessed using person. Dot. And so again, you can you can have a variable uh, that can be accessed anywhere in the class at any time by any uh, object, and it can actually be accessed outside the class, as you saw, as you can see right down here. I accessed it by uh, going print 
person.population. Now I'm going to show you one more thing in this tutorial and then I'm going to wrap it up. And this is um, what's called a uh, class method or a static method in, in some uh, other languages. Um, but I'm going to refer to it as a class method. And it's kind of a similar idea to a class variable. And that is that you access it using the class name and not the um, object itself. And so the way that you create a uh, class uh, method is, so you have the same thing here, but the only difference is in parentheses, you don't put the self. And if you don't put the self uh, parameter in there, Python won't pass the object through. And so what this is, this is, this is going to do is I'm going to have it uh, print the total population. So I'm going to say there are people in the world. And I'm going to format that with person.population. So I'm going to save it. And now, though, um, I'm not, I'm not going to add any more to the, my program down here. I'm just going to mess with it in the Python shell just to show you guys some more stuff. Um, so we have um, this. Well, right now, my person.population is 0. So let me change that real quick. I'm not going to delete these people. Let me say this and run it again. All right, so one thing that's um, interesting about class very class methods, the only way that you can access them is the class name and then the uh, the method. So person dot and then you can see total population, and you can see its outputs. There are two people in the world, and you cannot access it using um, any objects because if I try to do that, watch what happens. Python gives you an error because every time you access a method with an object, Python will automatically pass, or at least try to, um, in this case, pass the object through as an argument um, because that's just what it generally does. That's what it automatically does because that's what the, uh, the self is there for. And in this case, we don't have an argument. And that, that, that self is not there. So Python will try to pass it through but um, it'll give you an error because it's trying to pass through an argument and there's no argument so it can't do anything and it'll throw you that error. So the only way that you can access these class methods is using um, the, the class name itself. And that's just generally a little bit more stable because this way you know that it's, that it's uh, a class method and it's not something to do with the object. So you don't know if by calling it with an object maybe it's messing with something in the object and you're not sure what. This way that this way you're sure that it's not messing with any of your objects and it's really not messing with anything in the class. Now you could do something where you could have something reset the population and those you would generally do with the uh, with a static method because um, it's independent of the objects. Resetting the population would be independent of the objects. And there are, there are a couple other uh, things that you use class methods for, and I will touch on those in later tutorials. But for now, this is all that I have for this tutorial. Um, so again, I showed you guys two new special methods, the, the uh, string and the delete. And so remember again, the string um, is what, what Python calls when you try to print your object. And if it's there, Python will call it, and it'll print out whatever you put here. And remember, you need this return because it's it's returning something for Python to print. And then it's delete. It'll print something once you delete it or do something, as in affect the population. And that brings me to this class variable that I talked to you guys about. Class variables, again, are outside or independent of the objects. So you can have something that can, for instance, like here, keep track of how many objects that you have. And then finally, there are class methods or static methods, which you can only access with the person, um, or not person, well in this case it's person, but with the class name. And you can't access it with the objects, or it'll give you an error. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.